call today sustainability, which is often abused as a marketing gag, that this is actually not a marketing gag or just something nice to have. It is a necessity, and not only for the planet, I mean, not only what we normally call, yeah, that's nice for the climate and for the soil and for the water, but also economically. Organic or sustainable food is not too expensive. It's not something for a rich elite. It's actually the economically more viable option. And actually, conventional food is too cheap. We need to understand on how to revaluate food. It's not just about input-output today, but we must look at agriculture as a system. We must rediscover the culture part in agriculture. It's not just a business. Secondo i documenti della FAO, i suoli in salute sono alla base della produzione di alimenti sani. Ogni azienda deve assolutamente tutelare i suoi asset strategici, il suo conto patrimoniale e l'agricoltura convenzionale sta, devast sta devastando, sta distruggendo il suo patrimonio, il suo capitale, sta andando verso la bancarotta. Cioè, questo è un dato assolutamente eh, incontrovertibile, un dato di fatto. E quindi chi è il nostro alleato è il consumatore, è la gente. Dobbiamo riuscire a coordinare una campagna in modo per eh, acquisire sensibilità e spiegare queste cose e rendere il suolo sexy. Grazie. We need to restore all degraded landscapes on the planet as rapidly as possible. The money that we're looking at now is false. It has no real basis. It's an abstraction. It's coming from extraction, from manufacturing, from trade and from debt. And this type of money is not real. This type of money, this is true value. Soil fertility, water, the atmosphere, climate regulation, that should be the basis of money. If that's the basis of money, all human actions will go to protect the systems that we want. You can't grow with infinite use of finite resources. But you can grow enormously in terms of biomass, in terms of organic materials, and in terms of natural ecological function. And this is where good, healthy, organic food comes from. This means we don't have to have chemicals because we're learning how to live together with nature. But I feel it's absolutely critical that we embrace our, our soil and our earthy origins and that we celebrate this neglected topic uh, rather than back away from it because the public doesn't get it today. If we can get kids growing and visiting farms, I think that is a life-changing experience for them. Um, if uh, the first time a child grows uh, a bean, uh, or any, any crop themselves, I think they start to get that sense of our connection with nature. They start to understa understand that life and death cycle. And that cycle is what we need to connect people back into. And in urban communities, that's a real challenge. Being aware of the danger of destroying the soil is not something new. If you go back, we find this old Sanskrit text from 3,500 years ago, which is really worth reading and taking uh, attention to. Upon this handful of soil, our survival depends. Husband it, and we grow our food, our fuel, and our shelter, and surround it us with beauty. Abuse it, and the soil will collapse and die, taking humanity with us. Over the last two or three years, we have been able to invite and attract over 200 organizations around the world. The main point is the main message, organic is the solution. Organic can feed the world, and organic is the soil solution. And as important is the message, it's in your hands, get active, become a soil made. Uh, we are presently destroying a uh, huge amount of uh, productive soils, but presently uh, there is uh, not a recognition, um, an acknowledgement of soil as a common good. What we want with, with our campaigns is to turn awareness into action. Uh, no one has the right to destroy the soil. One can manage soil, but nobody can destroy it. Because the soil is a 
which is a, is a common good and this is what we want as a, a free by European and national legislation.